Okay, so you might be wondering whether to get the iPhone 7 or the iPhone SE 2. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you make that decision by showing you a speed test from each device. Now the software versions do affect the speeds, so I will tell you there's iOS 15.6.1 for the iPhone 7, and there's iOS 17 beta on the iPhone SE. And now let's get into the benchmark test. So the app I'm going to be using for this is Geekbench 6, and first off, I'm going to be taking the CPU benchmark. So now we just need to wait for this to finish loading to see the results. So the results came back, and you'll see for the single core, the score is 869, and for the iPhone SE, it's 1774, so it's about twice as much of a difference between the two devices. Now for the multi-core, you'll see the score is 1102, and for the iPhone SE, it's 3139. So it's about three times as much of a difference between the two devices. So now, let's go back into here, and take the GPU benchmark, and we'll just need to wait for this to finish loading. So the results came back, and you'll see the scores are actually a huge difference. So the GPU metal score on the iPhone 7 is 4215, and for the iPhone SE, you'll see the GPU metal score is 13468. So that is it for the benchmarking, you'll see there's more information on the speeds here, and you could also pause the video to look at this. And if you go onto Apple's website, there's information about the difference between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone SE, so I'm going to leave this link in the description in case you want to see it. Now that is it for the speed comparison between the iPhone SE and the iPhone 7. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.